Hi everybody, I'm Katie. Uh, I'm the owner of Baxter Craft Co. Uh, based in Putnam, New York. We do small crafts, stickers, bags. Um, what I'm gonna be talking about today is soy candles. So they're what I started out doing. They're really good, um, like kind of an easy craft to start out with. And you know, super fun, they make great gifts. So I just thought I'd let everybody know um, how you can make them at home and how I make them here uh, for my shop. So let's get started. So you'll need just a couple of things to get started. Um, obviously first you're gonna need wax. Um, I use 100% soy wax, so it looks kind of like this. Um, it looks a little bit like Parmesan cheese and it smells really good by itself. This is Golden Brands 100% soy wax, 464. Um, I find it's really easy for starters trying to work with soy wax. So then you'll need a heat source. Um, today I'll be using my hot plate that's usually down in my basement. You can totally just do it on your stove. You'll need a pot just to kind of create a double boiler. I have this one. It has just about an inch of water in the bottom. I got this from my local savers. It was like $4. Um, so yeah, don't like go out and buy a new pot. Just use like an old one that you have. Also need something to actually melt the wax in. Um, I use these pour pots. These are one of my little ones because I'm just making one candle today. These are pretty cheap. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them, I actually saw one at Savers. I have it downstairs. Um, and like every candle supply place online has all of that, you know, always has them. So like I said, they're super inexpensive um, and they really, really do come in hand. So you'll actually need something, you know, to pour your candle into and have it burn out of. So I'll be using this seven ounce straight started jar. Um, I use this jar, this kind of jar, for all of my medium sized seven ounce candles. Next thing you'll need is a wick and this can kind of be like the trickiest part of candle making. I'm definitely gonna have a video in the future about different sizes of wicks, um, what the different brands are. Um, but today I'll be using an Eco 10 uh, six inch wick. Um, they're pre-tabbed. I'll go over what that means later. You know, I'll go over everything in more detail, I promise. That just means they come just like this. Um, I find they're super easy to use. I have these little wick stickers. Um, they're just, you know, little double-sided sticky stickers um, that help secure it to actually the bottom of the jar. So the next two things I'm gonna show you are probably the most important things to have when you're uh, making candles, you know, other than the actual things you need to make the candles, heat source, wax, that kind of stuff. Um, so the first one is this food scale. Um, it doesn't have to be this food scale, obviously. I got this one off of Amazon, um, and it just helps you make sure that you're using the right amount of wax and the right amount of fragrance oil um, so that you can get really consistent um, results every time. And you always have to remember to tear it. Um, so that's when you put, you know, like your big jar on it. So when you're pouring wax, it doesn't take into account the weight of the um, pitcher or whatever container you're using and it throw, that can throw off your, your ratio and you definitely don't want that. So the other most important tool that I use is this kind of gross looking dirty candy thermometer. Um, this is like essential to figure out, you know, make sure that your wax doesn't get too hot, make sure that um, it's not too hot when you add the fragrance oil after you're done melting it because that can actually burn it off and you won't have as good of a hot throw, which is like the smell that you're smelling. Okay, so the next thing that you'll need is actually fragrance oil. Um, make sure that it's candle safe. There are specific fragrance oils for candles. I'm using this one. It's from Candle Science. It's the Fresh Linen Odor Eliminator. This is the 16 ounce jar um, jug and it's for my laundry day candle, which smells incredible i mean all of my candles smell incredible but i really like this one it is an odor eliminator so it's really good for houses with pets and really stinky bathrooms um because it actually can kind of like soak up the smell um so that's what i'm going to be using today and then the last couple of things you need are just something to hold your fragrance in so you can measure it out um and then something to hold your wick in place. So I use these, they're just popsicle sticks with holes cut in the middle of them. Um, and then the wicks slide, you know, not to be not safe for work, but they slide right in and it keeps it straight um, so that it's not like wonky or janky and it dries in the correct position so that when you burn it, it burns straight down. So I think 
that's everything you know once you have everything together you can actually get started making candles and that's what we're going to show right now so for our seven ounce candle we're going to need seven ounces of wax so turn your scale on if you'll cooperate um put your pouring pitcher on top make sure to tear it so that it goes to zero um and then for the seven ounce candle we're going to be doing seven ounces of wax so one scoop two scoops three scoops four scoops it's getting close and you there yes 7.02 just get it as close as you possibly can um it's always better to have more wax than less but really really try to keep it as close as you can so then we're gonna add this to our double boiler there's just about an inch of water in the bottom um and then turn on your hot plate so i do about medium medium high heat um depending on how impatient i am and um then you just gotta let it melt and i'll see you guys when it's uh melting again So depending on how much wax you're melting, um, the time for melting will take different amounts of time, will take different lengths of time. Uh, and this, just for one candle, took about five minutes. Soy wax has a melting point of about 130 degrees, so just above boiling, as you can see, the water is starting to boil. So while this is continuing to melt, uh, we're going to start preparing our jar and our oil. This is also the time that you're going to want to stick your candy thermometer in there and make sure that it doesn't get too hot, but also that it's the right temperature when you want to pull it out. So to measure oil, you're just going to want to turn on your scale again, tear your container, and for a 7 ounce candle, we're going to be using 0.7 ounces of fragrance oil, so you can measure that out. So let's check the thermometer on this. It's reading about 150. We want to get it just a little bit hotter than that. But as you can see, it's completely melted. We can actually turn down the heat just a little bit. So your fragrance is measured out. Perfect. Now you're just going to want to take your jar and your wick. Peel the wick sticker off put it into the bottom of the jar. Make sure it's pretty centered on there. Put that aside. So let's check this temperature again. There, just above 150. Some people would tell you to heat it to 185. Um, I actually didn't have the best success with that. Um, but let me know in the comments if you guys think that I should test different heats and pour temps and that kind of stuff. I think that'd be an interesting thing to compare. So now I just pulled it off the heat. I'm going to let it sit for just a couple of minutes and then we'll add in the fragrance oil and pour into our candle. You can kind of facilitate um, how fast the wax cools down by stirring it a little bit. Um, I'm just going to use the thing that we're using to hold the wick together. It's just a popsicle stick um, to just stir it a little bit and get it cooled down a little bit so that we can wrap this video up and then I can show you the finished result. So it's down now to just about, I don't know if you guys can see that, just about 150. Um, the fragrance oil will bring it down significantly more as will pouring it into the jar. So I feel comfortable right now just taking this thermometer out, putting it to the side, and then starting on mixing in our fragrance oil. So 
If you remember, pour it into this cup. So we're just going to take it and pour it in and then get to mixing. So you want to make sure that you get all of it out of there. Just stir that around for about 30 seconds. That's also something I've seen that's highly debated is how long to stir um, your fragrance oil in. I do about 30 seconds, sometimes more, sometimes less. This also helps cool down the wax and makes it so that it's not as much of a shock when it gets poured into the container. So we're just gonna keep stirring for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna pour it into the jar. So you wanna make sure that your jar is on a nice level surface that you're not gonna be moving around too much in the next couple of hours just to make sure that everything goes, you know, settles well and pours and sets well. Um, so then we're gonna pour kind of slowly into the jar just to try and, try and keep bubbles from forming. So as you can see, seven ounce of wax, seven ounce candle jar, perfect. And then you're gonna take this guy, put him through, like I said before, you can use a bunch of different stuff. This of course is not cooperating. Just pull that through. Make sure that it's pretty much centered. And that is your first candle done. So soy candles take a couple of hours to set, um, preferably overnight, just to make sure that they're nice and hard. Um, curing is a whole other beast. I'll definitely go over that in a future video, um, but preferably for soy candles, you wanna cure them at least three days, 72 hours. Um, I've found for me, that's what works best um, to get the best you know, performance out of the candle. Um, but I do have one that's already made that's dry and everything. So as you can see, it turns like this kind of beautiful, creamy white. Um, these are my labels, aren't they super cute? Um, and you want ideally that nice flat top with no bubbles, no sinkholes, nothing like that. Um, if you do, that's just how soy wax is. You've done nothing wrong. There's only so much you can do to prevent that. Um, if you just hit it, you know, with a heat gun or even a hair dryer on like medium heat, uh, you just melt maybe the first eighth of an inch of wax and it'll smooth right over. So I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, happy candle making and be sure to check back for future videos if you'd like to see me do all those videos that i talked about during today's first video make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification button to make sure that you get alerts when i put out future videos um my etsy shop will also be in the description below so you guys can actually shop these candles and see you know just what you're missing um thanks again for watching and i hope you all have a good day bye